Hello boy, it's about to start about the build on this one, I'm about showing us how to make a jammer and build and we took 25, so without further ado, let's get started so without further ado, we want to make it a point guard we go 6 too high and then we go 170 on the weights which is not bad, let's max out the wingspan and for this, you want to go with the 81 close shot You could float game on silver, and then for this, we're gonna go with the 9 to a drop and lay up. But you get float game on gold, and then get lab mix master on silver. And then you wanna max out the dunk dunk to a 95. So you get dunks like John Man, you get crazy dunk packages. I don't think you'll be able to get as good as if you get 96, but you'll be able to get silver, you'll be able to get gold post riders on this instead of Hall of Fame. But I guess if you can use the max plus one. You'll get gold post riser to a Hall of Fame, which will be deadly for this type of build. Go with the form standing, you're not going to worry about that. Or the 36 post control. Don't worry about that either. Me personally, I think John Morant shoots better at three pointers than he does mid ranges, but since I was looking at the template version and everybody else's version to make my own, I was seeing that they were doing more mid range, so. I max now is moving into a 90, which is still pretty good to get that set shot specialist on gold with mini marksman, dead eye, and shifty shooter all on silver, which is not bad. And for the three point, not going to shoot good much three points. You put that to a 72, and if you want to use a cap breakers there, get that from a 72 to like a 77, you could, but I, that's that's up to y'all. That's an option. And for the free throw, you're going to go with an 86. They would hit them free throws and we play wreck in fives per am. And then go with the 78 pass. Which gives you versatile visionary on bronze with silver bricks order and diamond, which is more than enough. And then go with the 92 ball hounder so you get the unpluckable and you get hounds for days on gold with silver ankle assassin. It's not bad, you better drill pretty solid but and dunk very good with shooting good mid ranges. It's not terrible at all. I'm going to go to 91 speed with ball. Because that gives you a Hall of Fame Lightning Launch. And then if you wanted to, another option you can do if you want to use the three cap breakers. If you want to get that le Lightning Launch the Legend, you're more than welcome to. That's another option. Now I'll go with the 49 interior defense. I can worry about playing the paint very well. But you'll have an 80 perimeter. Which will give you off ball pest on gold with pick dodger on ball menace and challenge on bronze. Which will help you there get some stops and people gone to three. And then for the C rating, we move down 67. Because that gives you, it's going with 67, that gives you glove on bronze and you get interceptor on bronze as well. To help you out from getting the pass lane series because the OP is hell right now. So that's why I recommend doing that. I'm gonna go with the 40 block, and I can rebound game blocks like that. Go with the 38 offense rebound, but then go with the 60 defense rebound. Because you get, as you see there, bronze rebound chaser. So come in, come in handy. You can get those rebounds and go with the 88 speed, so it'll be fast as hell, and that gives you slippery off ball on silver for the agility. Go down 86. So. Here's all that right there, the main stuff, and then you get it's 48 strength, don't worry about that, and then use the last bit on vertical. So you can dunk and jump high like John Morant. So you get post stars, like I said, post stars are on gold instead of Hall of Fame because you only get 95 dunk instead of 96. Like I said, if you want to use that max plus one, if you're able to, to get that to gold, I mean a Hall of Fame, you can, but I'm pretty sure gold is more than enough. And then you get Aerial Wizard on on Hall of Fame. So yeah, this time makes this build. Let me know your thoughts on this. What y'all will change. Like I said, I'll personally go with the freaking higher three-pointer, but that's just me. But now for the shades, you get, of course, you right there. John Morant, Kevin Johnson, and Terry Rozier. And then the build is called a mid-range slasher. Which is not a bad name and build at all.
So that's pretty much how I make this John Moran build in Amy 25. Make sure to hit that like button so you push out to recommend it. Hit that subscribe button on only bell so I don't miss out any more videos and streams I post. And so by chess, I'll see you all in the next one.